Hello everyone and welcome on the Papier de Red channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you some tulips. In fact, uh, tulips were the first flower I've tried to paint uh, four years ago when I started uh, watercolor painting. And uh, this first time wasn't uh, a really a good one, which is quite normal uh, because it was my first. Uh, I should make some research in my drawer to find this uh, painting to show you. Um, I will put it if I find it uh, in uh, the blog post. Uh, you will be able to find the link for the blog post in the description below. I've recorded this uh, video two times. The first one, uh, maybe I, I will post it uh, as a bonus uh, video. Uh, I don't know yet. Um, but it was more a uh, traditional uh, way to paint tulips uh, with a very natural looking and quite realistic. But for this painting, uh, I wanted to show you something more original, maybe, and uh, more colorful. So I've used some uh, colors that I haven't used uh, for a while, and that's a shame because uh, they are beautiful. And for example, the, the Windsor Red I'm using for the flowers, uh, it's a cold, uh, almost cold uh, red, and it's a very brilliant and uh, vivid color. And that's a more complex and powerful color than uh, Rose Mother Lake. Um, and uh, it's quite uh, perfect for tulips because uh, it has a strong power of red, but you can also uh, uh, use it very softly uh, to get uh, some brilliant uh, pink. And to complement uh, this uh, red color, I've used Talo Turquoise, which is a beautiful turquoise, very powerful, very transparent, and uh, it's a really uh, beautiful color, very useful in mixes for greens, for example. And uh, I've also used uh, Mayan uh, Yellow, uh, which is uh, also a very transparent yellow and uh, quite uh, neutral or a little bit cold yellow. So I've worked uh, this uh, first layer with uh, my colors in a very loose way. Uh, all the colors are blend blending in uh, one another and there is strictly no details uh, uh, in this first layer as I'm used to. And uh, details will come in the next layers. I'm always a little bit scared when I'm uh, painting with red because uh, reds are quite powerful and they are uh, very pigmented colors and it's quite easy to put too much color uh, on the paper and not be able uh, to, to go back. So sometimes it's a bit uh, delicate to have a soft color with uh, red but uh, for this painting I really uh, focus myself on uh, uh, putting a lot of uh, water and not so much pigment in order to get uh, all that, that uh, soft uh, red hue uh, on my paper. I think that the key for uh, working with uh, red colors is really to build the color slowly and uh, see each layer how it dries uh, in order to uh, tweak uh, and put a little bit more color if needed but really work slowly with a lot of water uh, uh, at first uh, in order to get really soft uh, tones of colors. There is quite a lot of uh, complementary colors uh, in this painting. Uh, the red with uh, phthalo turquoise and uh, the violet with uh, Mayan yellow. So uh, you have to be careful when playing with these co colors uh, next to each other. Uh, because it's if they uh, mix, uh, they will create uh, muddy colors and grays and uh, it's not really what you want in, a in a colorful uh, pictures. So um, when I put them uh, next to each other, I try to not move uh, the color too much and let them uh, do their job uh, on the paper without uh, me moving too much the colors. This way they will uh, blend a little bit but not make too much muddy colors. 
even if it's a bit tricky to work uh, with uh, such complementary colors, uh, it's quite rewarding because um, they will uh, enhance each other uh, when uh, put next to each other. So um, the, the red will uh, appear more brilliant uh, next to the phthalo turquoise. My process for painting this uh, watercolor painting is quite interesting uh, because I've made uh, quite a lot of uh, try before this one you can see right now. Um, my first try was uh, really uh, uh, um, traditional uh, way of uh, painting tulips. Uh, so pink, uh, soft pink tulips against a uh, green background uh, with a little bit of sky. Nothing uh, really uh, very original, but uh, just uh, what I see, in, in fact. And from this um, first painting, I've moved to another one, a very little one, uh, a postcard size, uh, where I try uh, another composition. Uh, I've put all my tulips uh, next to each other like a uh, small soldier, you know. Um, and it was a little bit more powerful and I've used the same color uh, uh, than the first uh, painting. So I think I, I was going somewhere with uh, this little postcard. And uh, then I've painting this uh, watercolor painting that you can see uh, on the screen right now. So the same compositions as the postcard, but uh, a little bit more uh, colorful. And now let's talk about uh, the supplies. For the brushes, I've used a Raphael Petit Gris 803 number two. And for some details uh, after, a silver brush black velvet, one quarter inch in a dagger shape. For the color, I've used Indon Train Blue. Phthalo Turquoise. Mayan yellow, Windsor red, and Rose Mother Lake. And for my paper is some Canson Heritage in rough. My painting is now uh, almost uh, done. Uh, I have changed my brush for this uh, small uh, brush in a dagger shape uh, for uh, being able to make some details and fine line uh, with it. And I've started to make some projection with it, uh, with a red color on the top of my um, painting. And right now I'm absorbing a little bit uh, of too much water in the projection in order to get a softer effect. During this wall painting, I've never searched for precision in my brush strokes, in my colors, uh, uh, in my shapes. Uh, I just want to give an impression and uh, have a very um, expressive painting and loose uh, without too much details. In fact, I'm using the same techniques uh, that I have used in my uh, previous uh, video, uh, the one with the facade and wisteria. Uh, I'm building some texture that will uh, look like uh, the, the flower or the, the foliage, but I'm not uh, painting all the details uh, in my picture and your brain will uh, do the rest, in fact. I think that uh, loose painting, uh, especially with uh, watercolor, is uh, the simplification of your subject. Uh, how to paint the, what you see uh, with fewer details that you need uh, and still uh, get a real impression of what you want to paint. Um, and just with little tiny details, you can have a really good idea of what uh, you are painting. And somehow it's quite uh, an easy way to paint because there is less details than, uh, than you need, uh, in fact. And uh, I think that uh, beginners in watercolor are very uh, focused on details and uh, I think they, they have to push them aside and paint uh, the, with, with a very simplification of the subject. But anyway, this painting was very fun to paint and uh, I was very happy to uh, play with uh, these colors that I loved uh, uh, 
uh, last year and I think you will uh, see them a little bit more in my next uh, video. And this video is now ending, thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Uh, please check the blog post for more information about it. Uh, you will uh, find the link in the description below and tell me what you think uh, in the comment. See you soon.